All right, loot all. More ammo. Uh, do you hear that robot walking? Yeah, I think there there's a is. spider yep. around here. I'm gonna hit a five. Uh, careful. There's a auto Ooh. turret up on the top. Ooh, did, I think this just did it just start? No, I, it didn't start. Oh, I'm not come, in combat yet. Okay. Come over here. You can hack <clears> this computer. Yeah, that's a spider and a turret. Shit. Uh, uh, this computer. Have, do you have mechanics? Uh, I think so. Here's a broken valve. Computer display reads Aegis Automated Defense Network. Enter command. Disable defenses. Display reads Defense Network Disabled. Sys Admin Authorization Required for Restart. Ooh. Thanks. So, so that turret's just turned off now? Yeah. So there's a valve over here? Repair success requires valve level. One. Oh, is he coming at us? Nope. He's getting frozen. What? Did I just do that? Yeah, you just did that. Well, this is why you got to do the brain thinky sometimes, Mr. Bronco. <laughs> it gave us a machine gun. Oh. Turret. Wait, turret? Yeah, it gave us a turret. Wait, how does that work? Is it a consumable? I think it's a. I think it's a throwdown. Yeah. Oh wait, it was just was it just the turret? Oh no, there it is. Level two mechanics, machine turret, quick slot item, four AP. Deploys a robotic machine turret that will attack nearby oh. enemies. Self destructs after combat's ended. <laughs> oh my god! Price seventy five dollars. Uh, I gotta so I gotta get one more level of mechanics, then I can use that. That sounds great. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be gadget boy, and can you'll we be break this hammer turret? man. Not to go off half Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> and it had a bent actuator in it. So that was worth it. Wow, that was all a right. that was a really good encounter. I like that one. Can yeah. all encounters be like that? Why was I so shiny? Did you see that? Yeah, I don't. I'm still level you mean one. The, the the blue thing that happened. Yeah. Yeah, it happened last time too. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I think that's. Do you have like a, an ability? I have like Thundering Strike. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. Maybe it's some kind of feat. Maybe. I'm going to learn our characters a little bit going forward. Let's see. Oh, lock picking. Level one. Can you do Ooh, that? Where? Right where? here at this gate. Uh, this gate. Oh, this one on the left? Yeah. Holy shit, you are like already very useful. <laughs> Ooh, armor for you to stop dying with. Ooh. Oh! That was timing of that sentence. I got a nightstick. <laughs> I'm guessing perception is not doing us wonders right now. I didn't know it was a trap. Yeah, that was uh, yeah. that was all me. Oh, I'm, that door's I'm sorry. also open. Deluge of blood. I I think Colorado might be taken over by some kind of shitty death cult. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Scout armor plus three. So yeah, you, you should probably put that on. Plus three armor. We both have naked oh chest pieces right now. Do you have like giant shoulder shit going on? What's wait, did your appearance yeah. just change? Yeah, because I put the 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 scout armor, it has saw blades on the shoulders. That's yeah, they're just big old saw blades. Oh yeah, you just got a saw blade coming on your shoulder. Uh Uh, the nightstick actually isn't better. Corsani took care of the hostiles who jumped me, but, but those bastards are still up there on the dam. I found a spot to hunker down and give you some cover when you get there. But I'm afraid this this will be mostly on you. Good luck and hurry. I'm not sure how you find traps necessarily. Ooh, crit chance plus three. Sign up sheet. Sign up for the chicken fight battle royale. Ten teams will enter the lake, but only one will emerge victorious. Sign ups available now for our premium club members. Please note participants will also need to sign the wrongful death waiver sheet. Thanks. What you finding? Hopefully not a bomb. <laughs> this is very corpsey so far. Yeah, that trap was nasty. I'm wondering how we see those coming. That gets yeah, in don't. trouble. I, I think that icon means this is a co-op door, meaning we both have to I be here to proceed to so the story. 
On the other side of the door, you hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. Open the door. Leave it closed. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> Oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> Dude's just wearing a bunch of corpse all over him. <laughs> is that... Does that smell good? Is that fun? Yeah, is, is this fun for you? Do you like this? Yeah. Uh, obviously we're gonna be doing the, uh, melee Into, combat Yeah, too. you can taunt him. <laughs> yeah. State of your knife is- oh, did you just click on that? Yeah, the state of your knife is a disgrace. When is the last time you cleaned and sharpened it? It's funny because you clicking on it makes it highlight on my screen. So it's like giving me your vote, essentially. Yeah. Sharpened my... Ooh, I'll sharpen my knife on your bones and I'll wash it clean in your blood for the deluge is coming, you heathen, and I'm its harbinger. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save. Huh. Anticlimactic. Holy shit! They done killed Jared. <laughs> Uh, never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. There's our commander still around. Cool. <laughs> right in time, too. Right when, right when he says no one's coming to save us. What was that again? I couldn't hear you over your brains coming out. <laughs> oh my god, there's, we're surrounded on a lot of sides. Uh, not on the... We're only, they're all in one direction. <laughs> they're all in the forward direction. Uh, you sorry, wait, I meant that left and right both have people aiming uh, yeah, down you made me, at us. You so made this... me worried they were behind us. Uh, oh, no, yeah, sorry. But we're the ones surrounding them. I guess that's true. Yeah, we got a sniper. Um, little vocals, apparently. Right? There's just some kind of, like, quaint little song. I don't want to stand anywhere, because there's oil barrels every fucking where. <laughs> and they're, like, they're all just going to blow up on me. You should probably take uh, the left route, because there's yeah, no I'm barrels gonna, there. I'm going left. And you've got some more armor to sustain with by now, too. Yeah, the number of oil barrels here is concerning to me. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> Why do we start every fight not in cover? What's wrong with that's, us? That's a really good question. Ooh. Oh my, I am so glad I didn't stand over there. Yeah, she Holy just hit the oil barrel on accident while shooting that guy. God damn. All right. Well, I would recommend, I guess, coming with me on the left since she'll take care of the right, apparently. Oh, here it is. Precision strike. Charge up this ability with each successive attack. Target a specific area of an enemy and inflict special effects. So I think that's what you were talking about before. So that must be the blue effect that was popping up. Probably, yeah. If only somebody was in a range. Let's see. Oh, going for a far right. What a frustratingly close range weapon. <laughs> I, I feel you. You're using a melee weapon, it's expected. But I'm just like, holy crap, I really can't hit people. I just kind of wasted my turn not even getting in range. Shit. I mean, you could heal and bunker up. Yeah. Because that guy's going to shoot at you again. Yep. 
Oh shit, I think I'm out of healing items. No, we should have five of them. Uh, I don't think... Uh, there, oh, there we are. I say, we got plenty. Oh, you have a grenade. You can throw a grenade in. Uh, yeah. What kind of range these things got? Ooh. Whoop! Oh. Oh, oh no! Cha chain reaction. Ooh. How? How? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I blew him up, which blew up the barrel, which blew up the other barrel, which chained all the way back to me in a weird sort of instant karma situation. <laughs> God. Great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We haven't made a paper so far. It's down to you and Anna. Well, I think we got this. There's only two guys oh. left. Oh, fuck me, right? All right. Just had no, to go and come on. Just had to open your mouth. He's got an RPG. <laughs> He's got an RPG. Great. Oh, they're going straight for the RPG guy. Go for the RPG guy twice. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hopefully she's really overpowered, because I don't know if we're going to make it. <laughs> Just try to survive. So you can attack twice with that weapon. Yeah. Did the hammer just use way more AP per turn, or were you always having to move uh, further? It, yeah, it used four AP. This one uses three. Ah. Oof. Oh, come on! Well, I mean, I guess if you're allowed to, like, fucking... Thank you. Hey. That's two more down. You just gotta live one more turn, basically. Are you hoping he'll bleed? I know he'll bleed. Yeah, but, but he or... might attack you first. That's true. I'll take uh, care of it. Oh, you, can, you got another attack. Oh, you were able to do three attacks in a turn? Holy crap. Uh oh. We made it. Okay, I'm back up. That means he, we made it. He died. He died from bleeding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just died again. <laughs> I just yeah. got up, but I just died again. I've got a lame leg giving me minus five evasion and downtime and so on. Okay. Oh, and I got a gouge die. Minus 15% hit chance, minus three perception. So don't, Great. you don't want to go down. <laughs> Major Prasad's uh, breath stems from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. Oh, you're in control. Nice oh. work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Uh... Oh yeah, Private Bell, I forgot about that. I guess, Private Bell? She should be here soon. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did... well. Now... She closes her eyes, grimacing, then fumbles her knapsack. I'm bleeding. All over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. Okay. I don't know why you italicize that, but all right. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. How secret? Who else knows about him? Uh, only me. I got them from got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. Oh my god. But they went dark. 
We have to find them. Angela Death. Who ironically will never die. I think she's in all three games. And I don't know who yeah, okay. She was a party uh, member for a while in the first in the second game, but then she's like, I've got somewhere to be, and she just vanishes. <laughs> and then she just shows up in here again, apparently too. Uh thought Angela Death was killed in, on a mission in California to California. No. She found her way home, then found out all her squad mates had died fighting. Oh, good jeez. Probably why she volunteered for the advanced team mission. Got her away from her ghosts. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. Uh... Oh my god, you can just kill her? <laughs> There's choices. Uh, we don't have first aid, so we can't fix her. Um, what, what do you want to... Got any input here? What are you, what are you thinking? Um, I mean, you're kind of in control at the moment. Yeah, but you can vote, at least. Yeah. Hard asser. I suppose. Mayor, or Major, with all due respect, you're dying. You need to face this like a ranger now. Him. Her jaw tightens at your words, but finally she nods and releasing her grip on her wound. Blood and viscera spill to the snow. No. Fuck. She sinks back, then reaches a bloody hand toward you. Uh, take her hand. Her hand closes over yours, fierce and tight. She tries to speak, but then the light fades from her eyes. She's gone. God damn, that's quick. What do you got on you? <laughs> All right. She's like on the oh, spot. Oh, she had some armor. She instantly dies. Oh yeah. Uh, puts yeah. She had some scout armor. Put some scout armor on, bud. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. there, she also, we also no. took her pants. Now I've got war blades. Which is kind of concerning. Got a mangler as a rocket launcher. This is a very busy uh, inventory already. You can at least, thankfully, uh, what's oh, yeah, it called? The sorting tabs, it looks like, yeah. yeah. This. Ah! So you, you can click the toggle button if you want to toggle on and off the appearances of the things you're wearing. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of nice if you want to maintain the punk aesthetic or whatever you guys got going on. I don't know, Any I like the saw blades. Yeah. Oh, and skills. I have skill points. Do you have skill points? Ooh, did we just level up? I think so. We did. I'm putting no, I, three points into weird science. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there's so many categories here. There's a lot, yeah. Okay, so we got lock picking, mechanics, which is nice, small arms. It lets you, lets you even use those kinds of weapons at all. Poster Automatic, repair? Big gun, big gun brawling. So you can just straight up specialize what? in punching people without even using a uh, gun. Yeah. I mean, I mean, using a weapon at all. Ooh, sniping, gonna sniping take, uh, is always tempting. I'm gonna take first aid because I need to be able to heal myself better because I'm gonna be taking a lot of hits. I'm noticing these weapons have recommended stats, like small arms recommends coordination, luck, and awareness. Sniper rifle recommends intelligence, awareness, and luck. So it's good being aware of which stats you already have. I, I've got coordination and awareness. And that shit's important. It does sound important. So if I want sniper rifles, I'd want to have intelligence and luck. And we don't I don't think we're really the intelligent type. But uh Yeah, my intelligence is three, my luck is garbo. <laughs> my luck is garbo. But my awareness is my highest stat. 
I think gives me a decent chance of a lot of guns. Let's see. Animal Whisperer? Tame animals to follow you and temporarily tame hostile en enemies in combat. Or animals in combat. Interesting to see it as a stat, because so often that's like a toggle skill, like you just get that perk or you don't have the perk, but like you specifically level up your animal whisper stat if you want to focus on that. You could be the guy, you could be a melee guy that communes with the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I chose, uh, so I chose leadership because it improves your nearby allies and grants you abilities on the battlefield, which seems yeah. useful because we're co-oping. Uh, I got survival, which sounds good. <laughs> To avoid dangers on the world map and contend with hostile wildlife. Yeah, there and is straight just... up there is straight up a skill called up uh, sneaky shit. <laughs> yeah, sneaky shit. Which apparently There's also toaster repair, which just says allows you to repair broken toasters. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot about that. That's a thing. As you repair, to there's toasters throughout Wasteland too, and as you repair them, you often get stuff out of them, and some, or or like complete quests or whatever. It's weird. Like they make a they make a themed series of stupid toaster related quests. Basically, it's kind of nonsense. There's so many stats in this yeah. game. There's a lot of stats. It's like next level numbers of them. Weapon modding, toaster repair. Let's see. I like that when you learn a skill, it adds it to the top, so it's quicker to just add points to it later. Okay, th this is useful too. When you highlight a skill, it tells you that your ally has them. So when I highlight leadership and hard ass, it says that you have one point in each of those. Oh. That means I get to is know. It? Oh, the... yeah, it does tell me that you have a uh, lock picking and mechanics and stuff. Interesting. Yeah. It's handy. Let's do a point to sneaky shit. A point to toaster repair. And a point into... Let's do small arms, because I'm so... Not good so far in combat, and could do with being more good in combat. I thought about it, but I... I... Like, my strength is so high. I think if I'm going to have a sniper, I'm, it's probably going to be a, a new character that joins the party. And that'll probably be this, because I do want a sniper, but I don't know if this is going to be the guy that does that. Let's confirm those. Alright. Look at this. We beat the tutorial, maybe. I mean, it's actually a little unclear. Major Tomcat. Is that oh, Major Tom? Oh my god, it is. Or is or does Major Tom have a cat called Major Tom Cat? I think that's the I think that's the major. <laughs> As you get close, you can see the cat has a dog tag, ironically, rather than a collar, which is embossed with the name Tom. Oh no! This is our we immediately have an animal whisperer check. <laughs> Take out the cigarettes. Take out the cigarettes from Jody Bell and wave them at the cat. Tom climbs down to you, eager for a smoke. <laughs> Amazing. I have a buff. Our first, our first ally is a fucking cat. <laughs> I, they're not a party member, but they're a passive buff. Hitting kitten, this kitty's got claws, plus 6% crit. <laughs> this cat just gave us more crit. Careful. Drug stash? Ooh. Many drug. Are you talking to cat? Yep. Her? Major Tomcat fixes his steely gaze on you, then wiggles his tail expectantly. Steely? Uh, you deserve a scritch behind the hat, Major Tomcat. Her. That's a huge right. cat. Very big cat. That cat is a dog sized cat. <laughs> it's a lot of cat. <laughs> it's a lot of cat. It's just, it's a lot of cat. You That's see a it. Whole lot of cat. Little brother, how goes that deadly use your blood? If you dry gulch them hot okay, burns. Yet? Erastus! Jared's dead! They killed him! Gunned him down like a dog! What? No! No! Or if I am... Was that oh, that cut it off. Major Shit. Rassad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. 
Yeah, everyone's kind of dying. Whoopsie! Oh, okay. Yeah, the cat's Is actually it... wandering around as like a health bar and stuff. Yeah. Maybe they will be a party member. I'm ready. I guess we just got in that vehicle. That's like a transition point, I guess. We we're going to travel in that vehicle. It's like a big snowplow yeah, thing. Yeah, I think so. Maybe those. Maybe we have. Maybe we have two party members now: the cat and the lady in pink. I'm. I'm okay with that. I'm ready. Maybe the cat's really good at lock picking. <laughs> I don't know what a cat would be good at. <laughs> Ste sneaking. I know, sneaking. but but then doing what? <laughs> Is it gonna stealth take down a person? It could. It could go for the jugular. <laughs> Say that, but this cat smokes. Could be a. Uh, it does smoke, and wear could a hat. Be fierce. It does wear a hat too, which is pretty. Uh, that's a lot. That's it is a lot. A lot. To take in. These are not amazing load times for PC. No, I, is, I'm even using like a it's really very oblivion on Xbox 360. You may approach the patron. It didn't even finish loading when it brought us here. Loading meters are always lies anyway. Three. When there were 50. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Well now, what kind of character are you? Would you be seeking Me? that revenge? <laughs> uh... Character am I? That's a good question. <laughs> also, he doesn't count the cat, how dare he. Also, uh, I haven't healed, so I have a whole heartbeat thing going on right now, still. In all the division, oh. the corners of my screen are all red and bloody. That's and it's going scary. clunk clunk. Clunk um, clunk the whole time. I think my character's honorable. I think he would let him have the, let him have the kill. Yeah. He's your prisoner. You can have the honors. If you insist. I want to see what he does. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Awesome. He what a fan that's thank you. Huge. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. Loving it. Anyway, here's a whole game I'm about me delegating my problems to you. <laughs> And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Did you notice that the uh, the the audio changed dramatically between one line to the other? Oh, like it was like they recorded at different times. Yes, it's very very noticeable that he didn't know what voice he was doing for this character at first. <laughs> like the yeah, the last line of there quickly changed to being like completely different audio, which is funny. Um. Hmm. What are the other options? Cause there's more. I am somewhat leaning towards the. It's it's your fucking fault. You owe us. We just lost forty. Apparently, just lost forty-seven people because it was a dumb ambush. Yeah, that is. Yeah. No deal. That, the ambush was your fault, and you owe us. Give us our supplies and let us go home. I understand Duranga, but that won't happen. 
I still need the service General Woodson agreed to. And you won't get your supplies until you complete it. What a quick 180 that first <laughs> option is. Just like, well, if that's how it is, then I guess we'll do it. <laughs> like, yeah, we're gonna fucking attack him. Fine, we'll do it. The Rangers honor their promises, even those made to a man without honor. Oh my god. Insult me all yeah. you want. Just do the work. Now. <sighs> Introductions. My name it's is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and... More importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. I love that his hammer is just two fists. It's <laughs> yeah. fantastic. His hammer is a double-sided fist on the end of like a barbershop pole of stars and stripes. A lot. I need to rest a spell. Catch my What's breath. What's wrong with you, woman? Are you that all right dying you? or not? How are your injuries? Recovering okay? Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Talk to you later, Jody. Later. What the have? hell happened to you? Like, how are you this messed up? We literally went through three battles and you got yeah, one punch. She's like in the, the one back? survivor. We'll see how it goes. Maybe she ends up joining us after the intro. And they're just not, like not ready to deal with having us deal with an adamant hello no chance <clears throat> all right this is um, for me wait there's a garage door back here that can lock pick can you lock pick this Ooh. lock picking impossible oh whoop i think it's way 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 too high okay one day Fine. when we betray them or we kill them and take their keys. Make me come down there. Diligent Joe? Pleased to meet. Don't let me hold you up. You have business in your new headquarters. <clears throat> Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here is Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. What were the Dorseys after? The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. The fuck on, guys. You can't even, like, clean the fucking place out of ro killer robots before we show up. Angry robots? Hey. Why are there angry, angry robots? Right? Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah. Let's talk after you kill the alarms. There's alarms going off right now? I guess it's a really annoying and loud, but I can't hear anything. I can hardly Except my own heart. Yeah, they're they're kind of annoying. I'm surprised you can't hear them. Oh, maybe I can't hear them over my heart. Here, let me finally Just deal with this a problem. Just take pack, like, Jesus. Yeah, I kept forgetting between all these long conversations. Oh, uh, yeah. Bwong. Bwong. Uh, is this less annoying yet? <laughs> So we get ambushed on our arrival and 47 of us die. 
and then we arrive, and the HQ we're supposed to be using oh, is completely. There's a toaster. Oh my god. Ah, ah, oh, there's debris. <laughs> this debris is actually a barrier that stops me from getting over there. We have to go. Oh. oh. Wow, that debris does not look like it's blocking our path. It doesn't, no. It just yeah. doesn't seem that severe. Also, right, I don't do... have lock picking. <laughs> Impossible. Okay, so I guess that's not the right way to go. Barred. Impossible. Oh, it's a barred door. So oh, I guess that, we have to go through the, this front that door. That debris is supposed to just taunt us. Like, there's a toaster over here if you can get to it. Mm. It's a level wouldn't, three toaster, so that's Wouldn't uh... you like my level three to- Killer robots. Are they killer robots? Wait, they seem are chill. Are they killer robots? <laughs> they seem pretty chill. They look like Rob. Adorable. Well, pacified. Sneaky shit. <laughs> Your security system is showing signs of neglect. We're from IT. We're here to fix you. Wow. That's very hard to understand, the, the, the dialogue, but you have, you have to read it. Hey, they're chill. Oh. I'm gonna go get a toaster. What is this? Radio static. Uh, do you want to touch this big machine, this big American server? Yeah, maybe they'll let us fix it. Yeah. This terminal's dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command's identity. It replies, command empty, designate new command. Install yourself as command. A camera flashes above the monitor, and terrible photos of your face slowly appear on the screen, line by line. Command recognized, security alert cancelled. That was easy. What if it took a picture of the cat? <laughs> Did he become Commander Tom? Good to see the place up and running. <clears throat> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. I mean, you did name them pretty stupidly. I don't see <laughs> why they wouldn't rebel against you. A really dumb joke come up when he said he had two sons. I was like, wow, what a coincidence. We're from Arizona. <laughs> two son Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm a disgrace. How dare you? You need us to round him up? Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them, and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? What if taking your kids alive is impossible? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. 
Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? They really have to come back alive? Mm, we'll see how that goes. We'll need more background on your kids before we go after them. What do you want to know? For one thing, you must have plenty competent pe uh, competent people here in, Col in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else... Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. I feel like this could be a problem because what if they can give us supplies? <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, I was just about to say, what if anybody else could give us supplies faster than you? Dude? Yeah, you got like, us. You got the loyalty of that. You're going to die if you don't get what you need. It's like, uh, yeah, but it's not the fuck. It's it's not an infinity stone like it can. <laughs> there are other people can have the thing that we need. Yeah, we're not asking for the world. We're just asking for some food like. What should we know about victory? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. There were other survivors from our convoy? That's great news. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. What kind of man is Valor? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers. Hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. So Valor isn't dangerous? No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed. And Denver's a death trap. Tell us about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. You're expecting her to try to usurp you? <sighs> 
She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. Thanks for the info. We'll do our best with them. You'd better. Anything else? We have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorseys and the ambush. Uh huh. Who are the Dorseys? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but. <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. You think Vic, Val, or Liberty were behind the attack on our convoy? Possibly, but I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. Why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. But not like the paying kind of responsibility. Right? Alright, enough about the Dorseys. Good. What else do you need? I have to constantly remind myself that I have to click after every line of dialogue to proceed. Yeah. It feels like it's just going to keep going. Thank you for the briefing, Patriarch. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Dorseys, this will be a pleasure. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, let's move out. Oh. I think they just gave us a base, which sounds more impressive and uh, helpful and giving until we <laughs> until we see it's just an abandoned wreck full of potential enemies. There's a deer outside now. Yeah. The moment humanity evacuates the area, nature reclaims. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. The when, the when the rangers arrive, nature heals. There we go. Just gonna put us down in the do not join chat because uh, we're uh, we're coming up on multiplayer time, so I don't want people to randomly oh, yeah. join us. I realized that we were in the public channel where people would expect us to be playing like Overwatch. Our, all these friends are still here, aren't they? Yeah, nice? I like that. Our, I like that we have our little bot friends. What yeah. Is this junk that you found. Yeah, it just does that. Radio static. Those A lot container? of stuff here needs to be fixed up. It has dollarinos, Colorado dollars. Colorado Dollarinos. Wait, Colorado has its own dollars? Uh, well, Ooh. I mean, the U.S. doesn't exist, right? Ooh. A Polaroid. Whoa! Hello. A brief history of tibia. <laughs> What'd you find? Uh, what didn't I find? I got a flamethrower. A... Uh... Brigo's Big Vegas brand premium cigar. An arc weight. And a Uh How how much strength you got? Uh six. One, two, three, I've got five, some six, yeah. uh intense armor for you. What's intense? Oh my god! <laughs> what is that about? Requires some uh, high-level armor stats. Oh, look at that Merc armor is better than what you have on. Yeah. Oh, Wait, I can't wear it? Hi. Oh, because I have something there? No, just doesn't let me wear it. Helmet. That's a helmet. Are you putting in the helmet slot? Oh, nope, I'm not. You're right. 
God damn. You just. <laughs> Do you just look like a uh, big daddy right now? Yeah, I just look like a dumbass big daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking diving helmet. You're not gonna headshot me now. I mean, that's good shit. You know how much armor my helmet gives me? Zero. <laughs> this is gonna be plus one to every stat, though. How much armor do you have in total? I have ten. That is a lot, too. Uh, 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 five. Wow. I am worse off. At the moment. But I should be the one running in there and getting all the yeah. bullets. So. Hopefully I'll be taking cover. There's like a category for our miscellaneous items. I mean, besides the one that says miscellaneous items. <laughs> uh, cause we have a, There's an item type called utility that goes in our fourth slot. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to find where they sort those two. Because it is not entirely clear. I'm assuming those are not usable items. I think it's weapons. I think they would be in weapons. Yeah, it, it counts as a weapon. I don't see them under weapons. If you go, if you highlight a weapon, it shows both of those slots light up. What? Both the slots light up when you highlight any weapons. You mean the second weapon? You mean the second weapon slot? Right? I'm, I'm talking, talking I'm ta about? No, I'm talking about our fourth armor slot is utility. Oh, oh. And um, as far as I can tell, none of the categories sort to that. So you just have to find the utility items in the all inventory, which is not great. Yeah, we, the only one we, got, we have is a Polish Ranger badge. It's a polished Ranger badge. No, and we have a, a rabbit's paw. Oh, all right, yeah. For 3% crit. What is strike rate? Is that just hit percent? Why is it called strike rate? Let's look for... Um, no, because if I highlight awareness, it's called hit chance. What is strike rate plus 8%? Charisma gives me 8% strike rate. A char charismatic ranger can unleash strike abilities more often. Oh, you, char you must charge that one meter faster. Oh. With 4% okay. st strike rate. Interesting. I think I'd rather have a rabbit's paw, so I'm gonna go for that crit chance. Yeah. Yeah. 3% crit. Let's see. Is that my crit rate? Doesn't I think that's my I think that because I think when you go to attributes, I think your I think your your stats are armor, hit chance, crit chance, and crit damage, I think are those things. Yeah. Oh, we leveled up by the way. We did, I'm, I'm currently going through. We have an attribute point to spend now. Now is where shit gets crazy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna go down intelligence if I'm gonna be our a skill farm. <laughs> Cause uh, every two point, yeah. Every two intelligence he gives you plus, gives you plus one skill points. I think every level is how it works. Hmm. Some of these things just straight up. Oh yeah. So your intelligence is your crit chance. While also giving you stats. Con is your defense. Awareness is your hit chance. I have very high awareness. Oh. Hmm. Hey, the further you go down coordination, the more uh, action points you get. Oh. Looks like both per turn and max. I think every other point increases your action points per turn. So that's a big deal. I'm gonna go down intelligence for now. Let's see, I only have one attribute point, so... Do I have the proper ability to... let's see... You gotta make the stand-up if you begin moving. I think sneaky shit only gives you... Like, lower... 
Yeah, it just keeps making detection time take longer and longer. But I don't th I don't think we currently have the ability to just like actually take uh enter like a crouch stance. Yeah, there's not like in. an actual stealth mode. Which that's a little that's a little bummer. Yeah. But I'll take I'll take some sneaky shit right now. Uh. All right, I'm all spent up. That's good. Who the fuck's this guy? Oh, you're talking to the computer. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? Uh, I was trying to see, but there's no, uh, we don't have, we can read old security logs. That's about it. I was seeing if there's anything we could do with it, but you don't have enough nerd stuff. <laughs> the status report indicate all is normal at the moment. An option displaying old security alerts shows a number of so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. And read some old logs. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't think I have any points in nerd stuff. That's just for nerds. Log data backed up to archive server room. The status report indicate all is normal at the moment. An option displaying old security alerts shows a number so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. Oh, that's it? Oh. This is what right. I said before, yeah, when I joined in. I didn't, I didn't realize that that was all that was there. Okay. Womp womp. Womp womp. I thought that coming in here was going to give us access to the toaster. I thought I thought there was gonna be yeah I thought there was gonna. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a Marshal Quan. <gasps> Wait, it's unbarred. Oh. When did this happen? I have to get to the toaster. Wait, you have toaster uh. level three. Wait, it's toaster. Ah, oh, I thought it was toaster level one. I misread it. No. I didn't notice this level three. We gotta come back later, which is fine because we, we live here. I was like, damn, you already have toaster three? That's a lot of investment. No, not yet. Oh. Please, don't shoot. Oh! Who that? I turned I turn my back. <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot. <laughs> I reflexively show my back. They'll never they'll never see it coming. <laughs> The woman is gaunt, her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bed-raggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the rangers, who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please. Will you let us stay? Uh, the other soldiers wouldn't want us around, I know. It's not that we want to cause trouble for you. Few of us might be able to earn our keep. We're not trained fighters, but we can defend ourselves with a knife or a club. She glances hopefully at her comrades, all of whom are as gaunt and weather-beaten as she is. Uh. You set off the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Can you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed, and more are always coming. I mean, at this point, we're desperate because we're supposed to have 50 yeah. people, and instead we have three and a cat. <laughs> hey, the cat is worth at least 20 people. Okay. That's still less uh, than 50. That's true. All right, you can stay. You said yes. Uh, 
Well, I was sure you wouldn't. Okay. The refugees' haggard faces break into smiles. A few of them hug each other. <laughs> we won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Do any of you have toaster level three? <laughs> I mean, it's dangerous oh, and, outside. Um, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us. I swear to God, already on a mission. Hear that, everyone? We got to make ourselves useful around here. Hey, we got recruits. Andy recruits. is useful. Andy's just an additional recruit if we find him. Some of these people gotta got figure to something box. out. Oh, that's all you. <laughs> I can't walk pick. I've got a talent. Soldier's note. A well-preserved tape from the the right after the war containing a recording of a Peterson Air Force guard. <gasps> Well, grim. Sounds like a personal problem. Jesus, they they leaned heavy into uh, breathing a lot during these audio recordings. Oh like my the god, theme. There's, a there's a customization option here. Is that what that machine you're looking at? Oh. Yeah. Oh, you do still get to change what you look like. Hello. Oh. The fucking Liberty Spike Supernova. I swear to God. We can significantly elaborate on this this punk startup we have. My God. What have we done? Hold on, I'm changing my pants. I'm changing my pants. <laughs> we'll get some better pants. Are you keeping the punks the punk setup at all? What are you gonna do with your uh, hair? Uh, I'm wearing my mask. Oh right. There's I'm, that I'm whole still, setup. I guess I should probably keep the punk aesthetic underneath the mask, in case I get rid of the mask. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How do you even do that? How do you even set what? those up? Set what up? <laughs> These like supernova hair spikes uh -oh. are just it's next level stuff. Uh, what looks punk? I guess that looks kind of punk. Oh my god! Yeah, those spikes are ridiculous. <laughs> There's two versions of them, too. I mean, the hair choices are pretty good. There's a decent number of options. Can't zoom in that much, though. It's a little frustrating. Oh my god, the spike hawk. That's a visual. Okay, hold on. I gotta... This dyed purple beard. 
I gotta like take off all my armor so I could see what I look like without armor first. Oh wow, you can just straight up pick whatever helm you want. Yeah. And just have that be your new setup instead of whatever you had before. Uh, the classic punk hair gas mask combo. That's what I was looking at too, yeah. Wear a mask, kids. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of different mask variants. I can get a spiky mask to go with my spiky face. Oh, they got like a they got a they got a Hannibal mask. Yeah, I see the Hannibal mask. That is unambiguously the Hannibal mask. The fuck is that like a face hugger on your mouth? There are some choices here. You can have a monocle eye patch goggle with a gas mask. I love it. There's some real choices here. Hey, what what is your hair right now? Uh, my hair is the uh, what is this called? The giant spikes. I've got the. Do you, you have the full the full supernova of spikes in every direction? Yes. Okay, I've got a purple mohawk. Perfect. Making sure we don't land on the same thing. I'm kind of digging this shield-shaped mask. Work with that. <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> what is that profile icon? It's like Gotta a fucking clown. <laughs> I can dig these customization options. Yeah, they're really great. You can be so fluffy. Oh my god, this looks amazing. My fluffy shoulder. Oh, it actually shows you changing in real time. That's that's great. <laughs> We're wearing the same mask. Are we wearing the same mask right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to change it because it clips through my mohawk. That's why I'm wearing mine. Cause it, because it clips through it? <laughs> yeah, because it clips through it, it looks stupid. Because there's like holes on it, so it looks like my hair is coming through the holes on the... Do the, yeah, uh... There's... I think there's a really good one for last page. Yeah, last page has a pretty good one. Uh, like... Like a mat, like a... It looks like a construction worker mask, and then it has the goggles on the top. <laughs> oh, the stupid little robot mask. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. The tiny little robot welder's mask. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple with the leather mouth mask. Oh, you can pick a new portrait. Yeah. Before, uh, before I realize that that I... is just a clown. Right? It's just a clown. It's just, uh, a, bef it's just a clown. <laughs> but they have the diver suit as one, and I was gonna put that as my thing while I had my diver suit helmet on. But now what a I choice. look way better. Can we customize Major Tomcat? Customize Major Tomcat like he's a palico? Yeah. 